Hello dear all, welcome to Sunday Education Academy. I am Santosh Vag. In this video, we will see question under try this section, page number 204, chapter Direct and Inverse Proportion, Class 8 Mathematics. So, let's start our video and see first question of this try this section. See the question under try this section, page number 204, chapter is Direct and Inverse Proportion, Class 8 Mathematics. Question is given. Observe the following table and find if x and y are directly proportional. There are different questions. First question is given. This table is given. First table is given. And x and y. These are values are given for x and for y in the table. And we have to find whether x and y are directly proportional. Now see what is direct proportional. The two quantities x and y are said to be in direct proportion if they increase or decrease together in such a manner that the ratio of their corresponding values remain constant. Means if x upon y is equal to k where k is constant and positive number then x and y are said to be directly proportional. Means if x increases y also increases then only this constant this ratio will re may remain constant means if the corresponding values of x for corresponding values of x the corresponding values of y also changes and the ratio of their corresponding values remain constant then only x and y are said to be constant x and y are said to be directly proportional means to find whether these x and y are directly proportional we must find the ratio of these two values for different situations now here in the table values of x are given and corresponding values of y are also given if it is x1 then it is y1 are you getting let's see it x2 this x3 x4 x5 x6 x7 and corresponding values of y for this are this y2 y3 y4 y5 y6 and y7 now as per our definition if we take the ratio of these values of x and y we must get the same constant same ratio so let's try for the x1 and y2 means take the ratio of x1 x1 to the y1 what is the x1 x1 is 20 and y1 is 40 the ratio is 1 upon 2 because 2 0 0 will get cancelled 2 on the 2 2 to the 4 means it is 1 by 2 so we must get this ratio this constant for all values of remaining in the table let's try x2 upon y2 what is x2 x2 is 17 y2 is 34 here here again 17 to the 34 means 1 by 2 here again we are getting the same constant 1 upon 2 means for two values for first two values ratio is constant let's try for the remaining also means what is in the table um, we see that values of x value of x decreases are you getting 20 17 14 11 8 5 it is in decreasing order similarly value of y also decreases but it is not only condition that both value must decrease but they should decrease in the same manner means their ratio at different stages must be constant so ratio for all these values must be constant so let's try x3 upon y3 that is x3 is 14 14 upon 28 it is again 1 by 2 similarly take the ratio of x4 and y4 we will get same x4 is 11 upon 22 that is 1 upon 2 similarly x5 upon y5 that is 8 by 16 x5 is 8 y 5 is 16 it is again 1 by 2 and similarly x6 upon y6 it is also 
5 by 10 means 1 by 10 and similarly similarly we will get x7 upon y7 that is equal to 2 upon 4 means 1 by 2 here for all values of x means all values of x at different stages corresponding values of y also increases but in the same manner means the ratio is always constant it is 1 by 2 means ratio is constant for all values of x and y at different stages means we are satisfying your condition means x and y are directly proportional for the first table now see the second table now see your second table is given here also let's write x1 x2 x3 x4 x5 x6 x7 and here y1 y2 y3 y4 y5 y6 and y7 means for seven values of x there are corresponding seven values of y what is our basic condition x upon y must be constant for different values of x means x1 upon y1 we must get same value and x6 upon y7 y6 must be the same value so let's try to find out whether x and y are directly proportional so what is our procedure take the ratio x1 upon y1 here x1 is given 6 6 upon y1 is 4 what is the ratio 3 upon 2 so 3 by 2 is the ratio for first value of x and y see from the table here value of x increases and similarly value of y also increases but this is not the only condition for the direct proportional the value of x and y should increase or decrease in such a manner that their ratio must be constant are you getting so take the ratio for the second value of x that is x2 upon y2 x2 is 10 and y2 is 8 here ratio will be divided by 2 5 by 4 ratio will be 5 by 4 now see here here for x1 y1 ratio is 3 by 2 and for second value of x and y ratio is 5 by 4 means ratio is different though values are increasing but ratio is not same see the for the next x3 upon y3 let's tell him x3 is 14 upon 12 that will be the ratio will be the 7 by 6 again see ratio is not constant means though values are increasing ratio is not constant what we can observe see your difference between value of x1 and y1 is 2 see here difference between x1 and y1 is 2 similarly x2 and y2 is also 2 are you getting 10 minus 8 is equal to here 6 minus 4 is equal to 2 means different is same see here x6 minus y6 x6 is 26 and y6 is 24 difference is 2 here difference is same but the ratio is not same but for the basic condition for the direct proportional that this ratio must be same for different values of x and y here see last one x7 upon x y7 x7 is given 30 y7 is 28 here difference is again 2 but ratio is 15 upon 14 are you getting we are getting different ratios so these x and y are not directly proportional though though x is increasing y is also increasing and difference is 2 so this example is like a age of two brothers age of two friends are you getting at different stages 
दिस इज वेरी सिंपल एग्जाम्पल फॉर द एज दिस एज एज एग्जाम्पल आर यू गेटिंग एज एग्जाम्पल सपोज देर आर टू फ्रेंड्स एक्स एंड वाई एज ऑफ एक्स इज सिक्स देन एज ऑफ वाई इज फोर आफ्टर आफ्टर सी एट ईयर्स आफ्टर एट ईयर्स एज ऑफ एक्स विल बी फोर्टीन एंड एज ऑफ वाई विल बी ट्वेल्व सो दिस टेबल इज फॉर एज एज एग्जाम्पल इट सो एक्स एंड वाई दीज आर नॉट डायरेक्टली प्रोपोर्शनल सो हियर वी कैन से एक्स एंड वाई आर नॉट डायरेक्टली प्रोपोर्शनल डायरेक्टली प्रोपोर्शनल to each other because the ratio of values of x and y at different stages is not constant so our answer is x and y are not directly proportional for this table now see the last table of this question now see the last table of this question in this table values of x and y let's write x1 x2 x3 x4 x5 x6 and Corresponding values of y is y1, y2, y3, y4, y5, and y6. These are the values. What is our basic condition? Ratio of x to the y must be constant for the positive value for different stages. So x1. So let's see what is our observation here. Value of y increases. Similarly, value of y x also increases. So Let's try to find out the ratio for different values of x and y. First is x1 upon y1. x1 is 5 and y1 is 15. Ratio will be 1 upon 3, isn't it? Similarly, take the ratio for the x2 and y2. x2 is 8 and y2 is 24. Again, eight three is a twenty-four, so one upon three. Ratio is one upon three. Similarly, x three upon y three ratio will be twelve upon thirty-six. That is one upon three. These are the similarly we can find the ratio x four upon y four. That ratio we will get for the four fourth value of x fifteen upon. 60 ratio will be 15 for the 60 that is 1 by 4. See here for the first three values ratio is 1 upon 3, but for the fourth value ratio is 1 upon 4. Find out the next ratio x5 upon y5 that is 18 upon 72. So 18 for the 72 so it is 1 upon 4 are you getting see here ratio for the first three is 1 upon 3 and for the next remaining three that is x6 upon y6 that is 20 upon 100 20 upon 100 ratio will be 1 upon 5 isn't it 0 0 and 2 5 is a 10 See here. Though, if we take the ratio for the first three, we will get the same ratio. But for the remaining three, ratio is different. But what is our basic condition? Ratio for all values of x corresponding to the values of y must be constant. Means must be same. Here, ratio is different for different values of x and y. So yes, here also we can say x and y. x and y are not directly proportional to each other are you getting but isn't it directly proportional why not directly proportional though value of x and y increases value of x also increases value of y also increases but these are not directly proportional isn't it because Here we cannot find a same constant for different values of x to the corresponding value of y. So our answer is x and y are not directly proportional for this table. This is all for this video. We will meet again in our next video. Do learn, do enjoy. Thank you.